It's time for the girls volleyball regional semifinal taking place at Neuqua Valley High School where the host six seed Wildcats face off against the 11th seed Yorkville Foxes. Marie Reichman serving for Yorkville. Caitlin Chu sets up Eleanor O'Neill who crushes this ball to make it a 1-1 game early on. Rihanna Clayson on the serve for Nequa. Kayla Dudek able to assist Keelan Mill and she converts on a powerful kill. That ties the set up once again. On the very next play, the Wildcats block a spike attempt and eventually Brianna Jones rises up for the kill. They take a 4-3 lead. We skip ahead to late in set one. Skylar Fildu tries setting it to Amanda Duncan, but Mill is able to dig it up and Kaylee Bryant finishes it off. It's 19-16 Nequa. Later, the Cats halt a spike attempt by the Foxes, which leads to Alyssa Jones giving it up to Brianna Clayson, and she takes advantage on the spike. They're still up three. Set point for Nequa at 26-25, and when they need it most, Brianna Jones comes through in the clutch as her kill seals a thrilling set one win. On to set two, which was a different story. Caitlin Chu is able to secure an early ace for the Wildcats as they lead 2-0. Vanessa Malechko serving for Yorkville, and it's Chu again, this time setting up Isabella Carmichael for the spike. Nequa up by four. Moving to the middle of set two where the Foxes trail by nine. Skylar Fildu looking for Brianna Jones, but Keelan Mills stands tall for the block. Not an easy feat trying to stop a Jones spike. Impressive work from the senior. However, the Wildcats are too much to handle. Amanda Duncan on the return, then Fildu and Jones are able to connect this time for the point. Nequa dominates in set two and secures the victory over Yorkville to move on to the regional final, where it will take on fourth seeded Oswego East. Mindset definitely changed because the uh, end of the second set, we kind of uh, our energy kind of came back after that last time out. We kind of clicked and realized that this is an important game. And in the second set, we we brung that energy so that we could we didn't have to go to three and we were able to work as a team and finish it. Uh, our Studio East is definitely a cleaner and scrappier team, so we're gonna have to clean it up. Our defense, our serve receive, um, setting, hitting, everything. We're gonna have to have a lot more intentional shots with our hitting because they're very scrappy and they know how to read the block and everything. So I think we have to bring the energy that we had towards the end and the end of the first set, like throughout the whole game on Thursday.